In this video, I'm going to move on to the next step towards setting up a gRPG server, which is to generate the code from the protofile which you just wrote before. So I'm assuming you have followed these gRPC installations, which basically installs the protobuf compiler and the gRPC specific packages. Uh, if not, you can install it by simply Googling install download or install protobuf and you should be ending up in this page and here you can uh, install the compiler so we have this proto file now which we wrote next is to actually generate the code so i'm assuming you have already installed the protocol buffer compiler which you can check it by just simply writing proto c and it will Show you a bunch of stuff which means it is probably installed correctly so to generate the code the command is this which is we are mentioning that uh, we want it to be a go output and we're using this plugin grpc because we have these uh, rpc calls here and this is basically the file name so i'm just going to copy paste the command and once you press enter it generates code for you so what does this code have so first of all it says okay this is generated by protoc gen go and do not edit so you should never edit this generated code now we had this option go package as game now it has created a go file pb.go file which has the package name as the same and it has this struct as a set high score request so we had these messages which are set high score request response then get high score request and response so all of these are generated as structs so as you can see it has high score as a float 64 here because we gave high score as double here We also have uh, yeah set high score response as struct and with uh, this struct implements a bunch of functions here. Similarly, get high get high score request and get high score response. I'm just walking you through what's there in the code. You most likely never have to actually open it up, uh, at least not uh, frequently. And so after these structs have been defined then there's this game client interface which has set high score and get high score and later on there is game server interface which has the same functions so what this is doing is it has this game client interface and this game client struct is actually implementing these two methods here and this is how this falls under this game client interface. So the client side code is generated here. Then it comes to the server side interface. So this has to be implemented on the actual server side. So we have to write these two functions and thereby implementing this interface, satisfying this interface. So this is just an overall gist of, of uh, what uh, what type of code is created when we run the pro protocol buffer compiler and once we generate this code then we are in a position to move on to the next step which is to actually implement the rpcs and this has to be done on the server side 